Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. My lovely wife Christina is running the camera. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. And we're here to show you a 24 foot Rambler model. This was the fifth house we built. It's gently used, about three and a half years old, and it is for sale. The uh, young couple who lived in this house are, are moving on, their family's growing, and so they're moving on to uh, a different living situation. And so we're, we've got it for sale for them. And it, it's a great opportunity for us to show you some of our earlier work uh, because in the early days of the business, we were so busy running the business and trying to stay on top of the builds, which isn't easy, uh, that we got let this get away without getting a good video of it. So here's your opportunity to see it. And so this one is built with uh, structural insulated panels, which is a great way to build uh, tiny houses on wheels it's much more structurally sound. It's about three times stronger than conventional two by four framing. And this house has been moved about five or six times and has held up wonderfully. So y'all want to take, go inside and take a look? I know they do. All right. So we got the board and batten exterior here. Oh, this one has the black vinyl window upgrade and a cedar exterior, cedar accent panel. And then the you got the full light door with the blinds between the glass. I'll try to get a good shot before we go all the way in. So this is our reclaimed accent wall that we made with, was this one fence pickets? Fence pickets, yep. Did a cool design there. Me and our lead carpenter at that time kind of sketched something out and came up with this design and Turned out great, I think. This new gimbal I have doesn't let me do the wide angle that I usually do, so. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get the whole house eventually. All right, where do you want to start? I guess the kitchen. All right, so th this is a 24 foot house and it does have a full kitchen. It's got a slat out pantry here oh, with the soft clothes. I wasn't clothes. quite down low oh, enough. Try that again. Sorry. It's got two. Two shelves, shelves in it. It's got the toe kick drawers down below. So we were doing that even early on. It's got a full stove with four burners in a oven, the microwave. Another pull out pantry here. And another one on the other side of the sink. Got the apron front farmhouse sink, which is a nice, that's our standard sink now. At that time it was an upgrade. Um, Apartment size fridge with the pedestal drawer to raise it up off the floor. So it's easier access. And more toe kicks than the one you just opened. Yeah, there are a couple more under there. So above, people ask, why do we have a catwalk? So some people have cats, but if you, even if you don't have a cat, it's a good place to see how the light is there. It gives a good place to put the vent and attach the vent for the... Uh, above the stove and then uh, we put lights a lot of times we'll put lights in that space and then it gives you a place to put some plants or storage bins or whatever you want and a lot of times we'll put clerestory windows we don't have it in this one but a lot of our houses do have the clerestory windows up there above that catwalk so it helps with the um, for plants as well and then we've got the storage stairs this one has four drawers in it so lots of storage, doors and drawers, and that's where the trash can is in this one. You want to go through to the yep. bathroom? Yeah. All right, so this was the first stand-up loft we built, right? Um, Here's another the, the frequently, frequently asked question. Everybody asks, why don't you have storage in the bed platform? So you see the bed platform is here, and then the bathroom is here. Six foot eight head clearance in the bathroom? Uh, six, 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 I think. Oh. Close. You told me six, eight. I, I, I could be <laughs> wrong. I was wrong one of those times. I might be wrong both times. You've told me times. six, eight more often than you've told me six, six. Because it's, I know it's six, four in the loft, correct? Yeah. So this is where the washing machine goes. You can see the, the connections. Um, 
And then the water heater is behind this door here. That's a full-size soaking tub there. What else you want to say about this bathroom? It's got everything you need. It's full-size. Yeah. I agree. Lots of floor. <laughs> I'm going to show the floor space. <laughs> They put some good hooks here for you. And then we got the, how big is the bathroom? That one, uh, I think it's five feet wide by seven feet front to back. Okay. And then the living area here is a nice, nice living space. There's a pull down s screen here. Yeah, they have this. Uh... And then a projector up above. And so th this house is equipped with blackout shades all throughout the house. So even in the daytime, you can uh, close all the blackout shades and still watch a, a movie on the projector. It gets really dark yeah. in here. <laughs> so they put this in. Of course, we could take it out if you want, but um, it's a pretty cool system here, and it's pretty easy to... They even taught me how to use it with the remote. Yeah, very so, easy to use. Lots of space here in the living room. Full-size sofa. Full you could do sofa. a sleeper sofa if you wanted there's plenty of room and plenty of room for lounging picture windows and then we got clerestory windows on this side which all have blackout shades and they're they've even got a remote for those ones that are hard to reach now this okay. is the original stand-up loft so we can add one of those steps here that these guys, um, this is before we got smart and started building in steps, but um, we just retrofit another house with a little step. So if you want, we can do that for you. So it's a single wardrobe with the hanging space and three drawers. And then queen size bed platform. Yes, queen size bed. So tons of storage there, and then plugs, um, that lamp and, oh, I didn't turn it on. That lamp and that fan are plugged in over there in that corner. Yep. And then if you want, you can put a little um, curtain right here if you want privacy, but this one's just open. And then here's the egress window, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, emergency exit. And this one does have a really cool ceiling fan. Uh, it looks like a uh, airplane propeller. Oh yeah, I'll show that once I get back down. So this is a cool, it looks like a piece of art when it's up, but you can hang your, this is a good place to hang your towel when you come upstairs after your, <laughs> after your bath. After you soak in the, in the tub. In the soaking tub. Okay, what else? We need to talk about SIPs. Structural insulated panels. This they're, house is made of SIPs. Yeah, they're they're stronger and more lightweight. They have a structural panel on the outside, a structural panel on the inside, with uh, which are glued to foam, and they only have two by fours on the perimeters and around the windows. Um, so it's got fewer two by fours, which is what makes it lighter. And, but the um, two structural panels uh, sandwich, sandwiching that foam and glued to it uh, creates such a strong structure that it makes this uh, house almost a monolithic structure where it, it has very little flex when you're driving down the road, minimizes the movement of the, of the house itself. And so uh, it's, it's, it's our favorite way to, to build tiny houses. It, it has its pluses and minuses, like the electrical is a little harder to do in, this, in the SIPs than 2x4 um, than framing, but... Um, we found a new SIPs manufacturer that is has more pluses than minuses because yeah. they help a lot with the electrical, and then they, they put it together for us instead of sending it to us in a stack of panels. Right. We take the trailer to them. They pre-run a, a lot of the wire for us which that, that's a huge help and, and, um, and, and pre-assembly saves us time and, and money. 
because sips, sips do cost more. Um, so I'm going to show the, the house while you keep talking about sips because we'll close out and I'll um, refer at the end of the video. I'll give you a link to um, see the video of, of our sips manufacturer Peter just made. Yeah, Turnkey Fabrication. They're, out, they're based out of Fort Worth, Texas. And, and they talk even more about the strength and the R value, and it's it's a way better insulator because it's not just is it a better R value in with the styrofoam, but it's also a tighter seal. There are not as many um, tiny places where air can get in and out, right. so which makes ventilation important. Here we we can see a little vent up there. Fresh air um, inlet. Yeah, and we always have the fresh air inlet and then two fans that, that exhaust to the outside. Um, that's standard, and then you can do fancier. Um, we've got an, an air filter down there right now. And um, Oh, and I was going to show this fan. So it's a, it's a really sturdy form of construction. I'm trying to show the... It will not tilt up. It's cute. <laughs> it looks like an airplane propeller. All right. So, yeah. Anything else about SIPs? I think that's... That y'all watch that SIPs it. video and yeah. you'll, you'll learn some more. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to click subscribe and, and click notifications. And give us a thumbs up. cranking out videos as fast as we can <laughs> of some of our older houses um, that we have, that we did take, but we didn't post on YouTube just yet. Yep. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.